To write the formula for copper one nitride, we first write the element symbols. So we have copper, that's Cu, and then nitride, that IDE means it's just going to be a single atom here of nitrogen. So we have CuN. But because we have a metal and a nonmetal, we need to think about ionic charge. This is an ionic compound. We have a little bit of help up here. It says copper one. That one means we have a plus one ionic charge on the copper. This is a transition metal. That's how we know what the charge will be. Nitrogen on the periodic table, that has a minus three charge. It's in group 15, sometimes called 5A. So because this is a neutral compound, it doesn't have the word ion after it or a plus or minus. Because this is a neutral compound, these all have to add up to zero. We need a net ionic charge of zero for the compound. There's a trick we can use to do that. It's called the crisscross method. We can move the three down here and the one over here. We don't write the one by convention, get rid of the charges. So this is the formula for copper one nitride. Let's check our work on this. We said we had copper one, so plus one and nitrogen minus three. So we have one times minus three, minus three here, three times plus one, plus three. These two numbers, they add up to zero. So this is the formula for copper one nitride. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.